back through my videos, you'll notice that I did a What's in My Dog video. These are very common among Mac users because it gives your audience an app, uh, like a chance to see the applications that I use, you know, how I use them in my workflow, and it, you can also sort of give app recommendations. So since I've already made one of those, and I will be making an updated one in the next coming days to weeks, um, I figured that instead of doing another doc tour, I would come up here and have you, have you guys focus on my menu bar, and you can see what kind of background apps I use and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started right up here. This is ScreenFlow, this icon here. And ScreenFlow is what I'm using to, re uh, to record this stream, or not the stream, but the screen capture. Um, ScreenFlow works very cool. This icon up here is only here when I'm recording, so if I, if I were to close ScreenFlow, this, this icon would not be here. But as you can see, it gives me the time of this recording, refreshes every time you... Um, go in and out of that menu. You can also stop the recording. You can pause it. If you're not recording, you can configure it. You know the size of and what you want to record and everything. Uh, you can hide the desktop, or you can just quit ScreenFlow. Pretty self-explanatory, and it's a great application. Moving on here, this is playback. Uh, this is made by Yasop. It's a media server. Basically, what that does is you can um, have the content on your computer's hard drive, and you can have devices on your internet connection access it. So, for example, I have a PlayStation 3. You can go ahead and watch my uh, playback video. You can go ahead and click the annotation you see right here. But uh, basically what this lets you do is, uh, since I have a PS3, I could access the content on my machine over my network from my PS3 without having to take up any extra hard drive on the PS3, which is very cool. So, I'm not going to take you through the application because I, don't, I already have. So if you want to see it, uh, go ahead and click the annotation. And once again, you can watch that video. Very nice application. Moving over here, this is uh, Twitter. As you can see, there's some new tweets. Here's the application right here. Um, it's Twitter. <laughs> it's Twitter. Um, I do. I was using TweetDeck, and I just wanted to, to switch it up a little bit, so I have been using Twitter. But uh, it is a pretty nice Twitter app, especially since it's free, and you can, everyone can get it just from right from the App Store. It's very cool. This is a cloud. What this does is that you can upload things to it. So, um, for example, I'll go ahead and upload a screenshot. So you can watch the icon now and nothing's gonna happen but as soon as I take a screenshot it starts uploading it and that's because I have it set to auto upload screenshots you know, so I could turn that off but um, I like to leave it on because usually when I do take a screenshot I want to upload it so I'll go ahead and open Safari so you can see it finished now I'm blinking blue and now here is my latest one. So I'll go ahead and I'll paste that into Safari. And it takes me right to that screenshot. So um, you can also drag, you know, movies. I wouldn't say movies. I, mean, I think there's a 25 megabyte limit, but um, like a short video, uh, you could drag an MP3 up there, a zip archive, a raw archive, anything. And it, it gives someone that nice and short URL to someone that they can just go and download it. It's a very nice application free from the App Store called Cloud. Definitely go ahead and check it out. Moving over here, this is Share Tool. Uh, this is a sort of a way to access your machine uh, remotely. So, for example, if I had a MacBook at school and my computer here, like at my house, was running this, I could, as long as my machine was on and connected to the internet, I could use this application on the other machine, and I could connect to this computer, and I have full access. You know, I could uh, do like this, like I could, I'd be able to see my desktop, like both my monitors and everything. I would be able to mount my hard drives over the internet onto that MacBook. Like it's a very cool application. I have a video on it. And go ahead and click the annotation, and it'll take it right to the video I did. Another application made by Yassoft. Uh, they make great applications, so definitely go ahead and check them out. Now from here on over, this is all iStat menus. From the battery icon to um, this, this is all iStat menus. So I'll take you through these pretty quick. This is a battery icon, and you might be asking why I have a battery icon if I'm on a desktop and not a laptop. Basically because it shows you my uh, Bluetooth mouse, keyboard, and trackpad. They're all the Apple ones. So, um, yeah, it's very cool to be able to just see my battery percentages all right here. It's very convenient. Moving over here, this is the temperature. Uh, the temperature I have showing is CPU A, just like the first core of my processor. But as you can see, I, I do have an i7, so these are, there's four cores. It does not show you threads because thread, like the, the other four are virtual cores. So um, it only shows the physical cores naturally. Uh, the CPU heat sink is now 42 degrees. This is all Celsius, by the way, not Fahrenheit. I wish it was Fahrenheit. That'd be incredible. But uh, Northbridge on the motherboard, 48. I don't know why it doesn't do Southbridge, but oh well. These are my hard drives. This is my 500 gig. This is my one terabyte. My fan RPM speeds, so about 1,000 for the first one, about almost 1,200. 
about 800, so yeah, and it also shows the voltages to my CPU. Memory, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I have 12 gigabytes, so as you can see, I have about 10 and a half free, and this is what I'm using uh, right now, just recording this. So, and it does show this the top five processes here. So that's pretty cool. It's just a nice like way to get a glimpse of your system and so what's using up so much memory, stuff like that. Here's my hard drives. Pretty self-explanatory. Shows you how much I've used and how much I have free. And here, these are my cores. Now, uh, this is a physical core. Physical core, physical core, physical core, and in between them are the virtual cores. So I do have eight. It looks like eight cores, but really they're eight threads. Um, much like the RAM one, it shows you the top five processes. And I will say these percentages are of percentages of one core. Um, ScreenFlow is not using 20% of my whole machine. It's using 20% of one core. So as you can see, my CPU usage is like six. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, iStat Mini is a great application. You can also, like I said, uh, you can also monitor a lot more with iStat menus, um, but this, this is all I have to monitor. And so, um, if you want to go ahead and check out iStat menus, it's not free, but they do offer, like, a, I think, a two-week trial. So definitely go ahead and check that out. This is usually not here. This is just for Time Machine. I just haven't, it hasn't bothered me to the point that I took it off, but I did, I just restored it a few, a few days ago. So this is still here, but I do not use Time Machine. Uh, this is my Bluetooth menu. Um, like I said, at the little battery menu, I have the mouse, keyboard, and the trackpad. So as you can see, all these here are paired. Uh, you can also set up a Bluetooth device from here. Um, every Mac user has this menu, so unless you're on like a Mac Pro that doesn't have a Bluetooth dongle or something. But um, anyway, this is my AirPort. It's currently off because I use Ethernet AirPorts here just sort of for sort of like a backup, like in case my Ethernet isn't working or something, or I just need to use wireless for whatever reason, which has happened. So I just keep my airport pretty handy. Volume control, nothing too special. And my um, standard OS 10 clock and spotlight. So that's pretty much it for my menu bar. I hope that gave you guys you know, a nice sort of background look. I guess you could say at you know, the, the apps I use every day. Um, that's pretty much it. So go ahead and check me out on Twitter. I'm at CPUKid. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.